when I read, I was like, this is such a, I have to say, <laughs> such a non-likable character. Filmmaking is not just about going with the camera and shooting with actors. Yeah. It's ego management. It's disaster management every day. Every day you get a yeah. phone call of your film either going over budget or that day going over budget. I told that, okay, um, you'll be acting with this one uh, because this one has so many followers and things like that. I'm that North Indian basic girl who's, who's I slept in, in a fan all my life. So I remember the first time sleeping in an AC room. It was just different. You know, you've often heard the phrase, it's showtime, and it is showtime, and I'm sitting with the cast of Showtime right now. Thank you so much for joining me, and welcome to Fever, Thank guys. Thank you. Thank you. Um, you know, I want to say that it's, uh, I love movies or shows about the movies, and mm -hmm. I think it's it's a different trip when you make yourself, like something you are experiencing. So I'm going to start off by asking each of you, uh, what is the most exciting thing for you as an actor to kind of play a role that you're so familiar with. So I'm not going to start in order of preference, uh, but of course, but I prefer you, Rajiv, because you're sitting right next to me. <laughs> what was most enjoyable for me uh, was uh, I'd heard stories about many actors, many and superstars, but they were too, uh, uh, I wouldn't say good to be true, but they were too, uh, uh, it was actually very difficult for me to, to accept that this actually happens. So for me to play a character where there is, I had to suspend my, my, my belief system and say, all right, this is actually what happened, then mm. I've heard this one. To bring that character to life was actually very challenging. And I remember that while I was doing a lot of scenes, I would ask the directors and, and I would ask them, tell me, who is this? And then they would say, bhai sahab, ye aapko and I can't give out names, but then they would actually tell me that these, this is what happens. This one is very particular about this thing. This mm. one is like this. Mm -hmm. So to portray that character was, was very exciting and, and something that I couldn't re relate to at all because yeah. this was, this is not me at all. At all. <laughs> <laughs> I love it that the entire fandom is, you know, discussed and Armanians hain aapke show mein. I love it. Yeah, well, uh, uh, but I think personally, you know, it's so fun to play this character. I think yeah. Rajiv's having a lot of fun. Do you guys agree? I fully yeah. agree. I have to tell you, sorry, I'm interrupting when I read his character especially. When I read, I was like, this is such a, I have to say, such a non-likable character. But when I saw him perform, portray his mm. bit, I was like, I hate this person, but, I, but he's still so yeah. nice yeah. and likable. I think what he did and what he got to the table, he, I think he made that person really, really likable. I think also what really there's a, there was a fear that generally you have something is written like that. Uh, he's played it, he's kept it real at the same time, yes. I think he's kept it entertaining. Yes. yes. Without yes. going over the top. See how kind my co stars are. Well, look, I, I <laughs> figured this out that you guys like each other, <laughs> which is a good thing. This is awesome. Uh, Imran, I have to say this about you that as someone <clears throat> who we watch for so long, okay, I think this is totally that show where this is like. Imran Hashmi 101. Like, do you now believe that Imran Hashmi is a genre? Oh! Good job! Good job! You're embarrassing me now. You're making me sound like a cult figure. But okay, I'll take the compliment. Yeah, All right, you take it, take it. All right. No, it's a thing. Conviction is everything, right? And playing lines, the way they're supposed to be played, the dialogue bazi ka jo, I think kahin na kahin wo chhoot gaya hum mein, kyunki we think that we are too cool to do this. And I feel that that is something that we kind of left behind. How do you do it with so much conviction? Because, hey man, even you're in 2024, but you're able to tell us that we are log aise baat karte hain. Uh, it's only a game of conviction, right? No, it definitely is. And I think uh, you have to, uh, for a character like this, for a show like this, you have to play it on the front foot. I mean, there could be two ways you could have treated a show like this. It could have been a slow burn, mm. which is not. Mm. Mm. It's entertaining, it's pacey, uh, it's dramatic. Yeah. At yeah. times, it's emotional. Uh, you see the vulnerabilities of the character. Um, and Rahu Khanna is this guy. Yeah. He is yeah. this uh, force of nature. He, the, he's always on that a few decibels above everyone else yes. in the room. He, yeah. he pitches himself like the apex predator yes. in the room because yes. Uh, it is a bit of the environment that he's been brought up in and also because also being hustle. a quint quintessential producer he has to hustle yeah, yeah. and for him he will step over anyone to get you know 
uh, his ambition further mm -hmm. with the films that he has to make. And it's only about the success in the commerce of films. Mm -hmm. It had come to me as just a concept note two years ago, and then mm -hmm. you know we fleshed out Raghu and these nuances started coming out, and then you know that I loved the dialogues, I loved the scenes with everyone in the show. Just the, someone who is always there. He's entertaining. He's brash, mm -hmm. and he reminded me of this character. I don't know if you've seen. Uh, have you seen Entourage? Yeah, of course. So he, it was like I told, I, I, you know, I said I want to kind of make him an Ari Gold. Ari Gold, yeah. I want to have my Ari Gold moment. Because at some point I was like, "Ye to Bollywood ka succession hai." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which is also it's good, right? It's a bit right? of succession, yeah. billions. Yeah. It's a yes. bit of Entourage. Yeah. I love Nasir Sahab's character. Oh, he's fantastic. Oh, or wo kirdar because you know, aise log. I used to be part of a retro radio station for a really long time. Okay. I still run it, and I have met producers. I have yeah. gone to their offices, जो नास सिनेमा के बिल्डिंग में यू नो हुआ करते हैं अभी भी हैं एक दो तो वहाँ पर हम जाकर उनसे मिलते थे और उनका जो आइडिया है सिनेमा का वो इतना प्योर है एंड देन यू जस्ट वांट टू यू वांट टू हेल्प देम अचीव दैट एंड आई थिंक कहीं ना कहीं आई थिंक नसीर साहब रिप्रेजेंट्स दैट इस वाल राइट या या एंड आई हैव हैव द गुड फॉर्च्यून ऑफ बीइंग आई आई वर्क्ड इन अ फिल्म ऑफिस एस एन असिस्टेंट डायरेक्ट people in the industry <laughs> i've had experiences of i've had experience where producers torn off pages of a script no. because the film was going into the red just to kind of uh, kind of uh, boss around and tell the team that he's not going to spend a penny more oh then God. obviously he had to come around and make the film eventually right. but right. Th this is what it is and you have weird and amazing stories about producers of the way they and my uncle used to always say uh, mukesh bhari said that you never sit on this chair it's like an electric chair yeah. Because the yeah. things that you have to hear here, it's not, filmmaking is not just about going with the camera and shooting with actors. Yeah. It's ego management. It's disaster management every day. Every day you get a yeah. phone call of your film either going over budget or that day going over budget. Correct. So he said you have no idea what being a producer is. Good. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. Congratulations. Thank uh, you. How does it feel to be the female lead of this show? <laughs> Let's start off with that. Because yeah. wow. I'm I mean. glad. I'm glad you asked me that question. It feels. Um, like an opportunity i was always always waiting for um i mean and what an ensemble like this is something that i think any uh, newcomer would dream of so yeah i mean it's an opportunity that i was really really looking forward to when they reached out to me when i auditioned for the part i was like i can't wait for this to get started because it's i mean all the characters like he said they are multi dimensional and they are vulnerable they are strong they are dark they are there's a, they, they, none of us are black and white because as humans we aren't Bilkul. so it, it was so interesting to not only read my part and obviously go about it but everybody's part are so so interesting and engaging and entertaining at the same time but uh, to answer your question it, it feels It feels really, really good. I'm grateful. I am thankful. Yeah. Has he yeah. been? Has he been? Uh, you know, in terms of someone who's seen a lot more than you, what does Imran give you in a scene? मुझे बता. Sorry, Imran's right here, but अभी अच्छी बातें करनी होगी. Ask that question. I'm not around. Okay. <laughs> I was really. I mean, first of all, I was intimidated by the idea of the opportunity. But what I have to say about Imran sir is like, he's really, really secure. as an actor he lets you play your part mm -hmm. he gives you uh, you know the space the stage that is required no, and 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 i feel because our scenes i also met him on set so there were there was no time that we got in order to do any workshops to any readings and we had like multiple scenes to shoot uh, on you know yeah. on days so it's like we met and we were we were rolling you so that that was a deliberate thing also Yeah, because I was literally just like Mahika was pushed into the corner, yeah. so was Mahima, and I was like, oh, okay, okay, now I have to take it as it comes. I, do I have any time to gather myself? No, but I think that also helped me in your uh, performance. In 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 my performance, but yeah, I think he's a really uh, supportive co-actor. You know, those are fun. So guys, whenever you watch the show, look out for what I'm talking about. Um, Shreya, I have to talk to you because you know, for someone who's a South Indian. Uh, yeah, yes, I'm a Tamilian. I'm a Ramanathan. Oh, wow, okay. uh, there is a special bond, you know, with a girl who stepped into an industry that wasn't really the first industry in, in terms of language or choice of language. Uh, but I remember so clearly an interview जहाँ पर आपने कहा था कि you know आपके professors जब आप college में थे वो यकीन नहीं करते थे कि आप shooting भी कर रहे हैं आप एक star हो क्योंकि उनको ये फिल्में दिखती नहीं थी you know because they were South Indian films. and yeah, today we are in a place where you know of course they are talking about pan india films 
before Pan India, before Pan India, man. Like, have you ever thought about that? It's very interesting uh, because now, because of OTT and because of COVID, people sat down and saw cinema from different parts of the country. Mm -hmm. And there's so much work going on. But when I started acting, there was no internet really. Like 20 years ago, people, like when I went to college and I told them that I'm acting, they started laughing at me because I look like this really girl next door with my hair tied up. I'd just gone back from my dance class, Kathak, and they're like, no, you don't act, shut up. <laughs> How long have you been in the industry? My first film came out in 2001, 2000. Wow, yeah, 24 senior, years. Like, you're my senior. In like, yeah. Oh, we're dinosaurs. Yeah, but it, you, you understand what I'm saying? And then yeah, suddenly no, people started releasing it. songs on internet and yeah. then... Yeah. I'm the talking about cassettes, no, no. like... Also the transition of film to digital. Do you remember I, that? I remember because yeah. I went on set and suddenly there's no... There's no sound. Sound. So that uh, it threw me I off think, also. Really? I couldn't act. Like oh, I, my I could first, act. my first day was so disorienting. I know, I'm like, I, I want that the sound. sound. Oh it, my God. I'm, I, so I'm the, I'm the, the I'm, I'm that northern Indian basic girl who, who I slept in in a fan all my life. So I remember the first time sleeping in an AC room. It was just different. Raji, we fell in love with you thanks to television. And here you are. I mean, in some way, you know, OTT is something that we consume on the smaller screen, right? Uh, what has been for you the thing that has always stayed the same and the one that as they talked about is completely different now so what has always stayed the same my approach has always stayed the same mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I never ever acted thinking that this is going to come on a smaller screen or this is going to come on the big screen you know you were acting and then you don't kind I don't I don't know about others but I don't change my approach thinking this is going to be a big screen thing or big screen thing or this is going to be on OT. I think that is what has remained uh, constant. And what's changed completely? What has changed is, uh, is uh, your uh, social media which has come in and then now you are told that okay um, you'll be acting with this one uh, because this one has so many followers and things like that. So now I think a lot has changed from the, from the c commerce point of view I would say. That is what has changed. I mean, back in the day, uh, let's say 2008 when I did my first film, mm -hmm. I think the whole idea was to actually make a, a great film. And That's I remember true. the energies That's of true. everybody. It wasn't about... Uh, and it was a great film. Congratulations. Yeah, it yeah. was a yeah. well-written film, well-executed film. So, so the idea was that let's make a great film. Mm -hmm. and, and after that also, a couple of projects that I did, uh, they were all about people wanting to be a part of a good project, <laughs> wanting Correct. to make a good film. Yeah. And also what has changed is the <coughs> media which kind of uh, sway, um, I mean it sways your opinion, the opinion of the makers and our opinion of, of, of um, the, yeah. the studios, etc. Yeah, I've yeah, so never I think, felt more yeah. important. Okay. Like, I think these are a few, uh, barring a few critics and reviews, uh, it's lost its credibility. Yeah. Also. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Barring few, you're saying yeah. you're still yeah, being it's, generous. It's become like this also paradox of choice, right? Yeah. When there's so many people yelling about the same thing, you have YouTubers, mm -hmm. you have critics, mm -hmm. you have... Uh, earlier it used to be, you know, you used to look forward to the paper, to the yeah. morning paper yeah. on Friday. Yeah, we talk about Sandarb, Sandarb doesn't see anything, which is context and nobody ever says, it's Matlab. only reacting to clips. But Imran, I, you know, this is my childhood dream. Uh, nobody lip syncs a song like Imran You make me feel old, first of all. I've seen this in the past 5-10 years. Uh, even my colleagues and all me, when we probably go to airports and different places, and you say, I saw that when I was in school, I saw that, I saw that. And, you know, I'll tell you something about actors. Uh, being narcissistic, we're a little self-indulgent, we kind of, our age, we freeze somewhere at 21 or 25. We freeze in our heads. Correct. Right? Correct. Correct. So it's like a revelation. But anyways, please go on. No, but uh, But I remember nobody could lip sync a song like you. Okay, because you were just like, kaho na kaho nia, mein kahongi. Unke yaad hai. Uh, teach us a little bit today as someone who's been through those ups and downs of, you know, doing your, doing your part with so much conviction. What was, what is the best thing when you have to lip sing a song? You know, ek, ek tip to de do meri Yay. audience ko. No, I, 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 I could use about Kaona Kao, the story behind it is there was this Tamali Mark part. Actually, people don't really know how Kaona Kao happened. This was actually heard by me and my wife um, in when we had gone, we had traveled. It's a, it's actually a Turkish song. And then she, we came back and we gave it to the huts and then they kind of, uh, kind of we made the uh, Kaunako out of it. But that song, Tamali Mark, I have heard it roughly around 100 times or mm -hmm. more mm -hmm. to get the lip sync right. Mm. 
And it's just that it's just a function of having good song. If you have a good song and you kind of insistently and constantly mm. hear it again and again, I mean, then it becomes kind of it sticks somewhere. Yes. It just you know yes. it sticks, and then you just enjoy the process. If you enjoy the song, if you enjoy the process, then uh, I think half the work is done by these wonderful artists giving me great songs and chart busters. Yeah. I hate it, let's say. Okay. I hate it. Yeah. Oh my God. So, 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 Vrinda Master and uh, Raju, they at that point of time they were like the choreographers. They used to look at me and they're like, shit. <laughs> So the choreography I would learn like this because oh, I I understood their style, they understood mm -hmm. mine, so it was fine. And the lip sync, they'll be like, "Shit, kya gaari hai?" <laughs> I guess everyone has a lip sync. Kya gaari? Kya se gaada gaari? I have a process for dubbing till then, probably seven eight years into uh, my career. Then I realized, okay, this is my jam. This is how you're supposed to do it. Mm. I used to try to catch the thing on my face on the screen. Then I found my own process. Okay. So then, because dubbing was like hell, and most of the films yeah, used to be yeah, dubbed yeah, till like yeah. probably I would say 2007. There still are many of the films, but uh, so most of my, my the, the English films that I did were lip sync. The first time I had to go dub was Avarapan. Avarapan. And Mohit Suri like destroyed me. He's like, I don't even know what you're saying. This is not right. Khatik nahi hai, zee nahi hai, wo nahi. I actually I, I, I have a confession. He, not a very confession, but my first film was actually a detriment where I wanted to leave the industry because oh. it was dubbed by my director, and oh. I felt, and that was my. It, it it just felt so bad because you're trying to put your best foot across, and you know, and they yeah, said that they didn't have much here. time yeah. to finish the dubbing, so yeah. the director stepped in and dubbed my voice. And I still can't see that performance. And so I was like, I probably am not made up for this film. industry. Yeah, yeah. Vikram had yeah. dubbed uh, Footpath yeah. because they said that you probably will take 15 days, 20 <laughs> days because you're like a newbie, and we need to mm -hmm. kind of be already airborne, and we got to put it out fast and release it. So he dubbed for it. Wow. And I was like, this is probably my last. Yeah, मुझे बताओ ये actors की जो दुनिया है ना from outside. Thank you for first of all sharing such intimate details about you being vulnerable. And I wanted to you know leave today with two things for my audience. एक इज थ्रू शो लाइक दिस यू कैन एक्सप्लोर वॉट योर ओन वालिटीज आर एज सो राजीव मैं आपसे पूछना चाहती हूँ कब वालेबल फील करते हो एज एन एक्टर एवरी टाइम आई स्टार्ट न्यू प्रोजेक्ट राइट इन द बिगनिंग आई आई फील वेदर आई एम गुड गेट इट राइट नॉट राइट देर आर सम पीपल हु वुड से दैट यू नो यूर यूर गुड एक्टर राजीव एंड दैट पुट सो मच प्रेशर ऑन यू एंड एंड वाइल यू आर इन फ्रंट ऑफ द कैमरा यू थिंकिंग आई होप माई को एक्टर्स एंड माई डायरेक्टर ऑल्सो यू नो दे स्टिक टू दैट बिलीव दैट राजीव इज अ गुड एक्टर ऑल दैट कीप्स प्लेंग ऑन माई माइंड the maybe the first day or the second day maybe till the i till i don't get into the skin of the character it has been so long now i's been almost about 18 years uh, in yeah. the industry every time i don't know why i don't know if it happens with you or not are you like on day one are you thinking yeah, yeah. self doubt my is very this is the my the first two days of of any film yeah so i'm trying to get a grip of the yeah. character yeah. and also it's about people mm. right yeah. mm. finding that mm. synergy yeah. with people mm. sometimes you yeah. strike the chord sometimes right. you don't mm. yeah. so yeah. that's i think first so it's two not days not just me i think i'm, I'm glad so that's that's it's what happens normal. yeah yeah i'll i'll tell you mine like you know on tv especially i've been on radio for so long but tv is a different game mm. i feel very vulnerable when i have to do fittings because suddenly it's not about our talent anymore it's about how we're looking and then you know kapde fit nahi hote fir wo bolte ki nahi aapko you know you know you have to wear sleeves because you can't have these arms and i still remember someone saying that to me and i said what does my arm have to do with you know the way i present a show and in the beginning i remember saying ki yaar ye log bakwas kar rahe then i realized that no they are looking at the entire show as a package right and everything has to fit so i have to do my bit as well yeah. anyway just like, that's also no, a misconception by the way na aadmi ko ye maybe depends from actor to actor right. i remember when i was doing television and there was a point i said you know mujhe koi naya kapda chahiye nahi i'm going to wear only black and we wore polo neck throughout i mean i remember about 15 or 20 episodes where i was wearing a polo neck and yet thank you वो कैरेक्टर का उस टाइम पे ये था दैट ओके फाइन इज गोइंग थ्रू दिस वन ही कैन नॉट लेट लुक रियली ड्रेसी एवरी टाइम बिकॉज इज गोइंग थ्रू अ फेस इंस्टेड ऑफ वेरिंग एंड इट जस्ट इट जस्ट वर्क सो इट डिपेंड्स फ्रॉम पर्सन टू पर्सन आई गेस दैट कि ओके फाइन यू वांट टू लुक डेक्ड अप इन एवरी शॉट और एवरी फ्रेम एंड देयर आर अदर्स आल्सो सो आई थिंक इट डिपेंड्स फ्रॉम पर्सन टू पर्सन एब्सोल्युटली आई थिंक द क्लोजिंग आई लर्न फ्रॉम रजनी कांत आई रिमेंबर वी वर डूइंग द द फिटिंग्स एंड शंकर सर रजनी सर एंड वी ऑल वर देयर एंड सडनली आफ्टर वेयर दीस रियली सेक्सी आउटफिट्स एंड आई वाजंट फीलिंग कंफर्टेबल आई फील लाइक मेबी this is not me uh for the song and shankar sir likes like everybody to be super sexy and super yeah. cool and then rajni sir comes in his outfit and he walks in and he he's like he owns the outfit like he walks with that style like he's that king at that moment he'll sit he'll talk 
he'll do his pictures and he goes in, no makeup, nothing. He doesn't give, he doesn't care. And so you kind of realize that this could also be how you can get a character from outside in, like beautiful. What yes. you're wearing Absolutely. can also help you become. Yeah, be the character. Yeah. Fantastic. Imran, come vulnerable feel karte ho? Uh, I think the same. I think before a project is starting, uh, maybe the night before, um, I feel like, and also just when I'm signing a film, it's it's exciting when you mm -hmm. sign a new film, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then you got to then the it realizes that mm -hmm. it kind of dawns on you that probably you might screw this up. <laughs> so my whole thing starts off from that. Don't screw this up before every film, mm -hmm. and maybe I won't be as good. And Correct. I think because of that fear. Uh, I put in that much work mm. into my film, mm. and also I'm very vulnerable when the the, no, 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 release the ha. But I have a I have terrible short term memory. Handy. So if a script Handy. is given to me in the, in the morning, that's why I think television actors are so this with uh, the lines. Yes. I always yeah. want the script way before. Mm. So for me, there's this thing that probably I'm not giving my best mm. because if I was given this probably 15, 20 Pele. days before, yeah. I would have gotten the nuances in, and mm. I won't be able to if the script is given to me in the morning of the shoot. How mm. nice. So I feel vulnerable. Thank uh, you so much for sharing. It's very kind of each of you. Mahima? Um, I used to earlier think that uh, being vulnerable is some sort of a weakness, but I think I realized that it's, it's, it's strength, it's my power. And I think I feel vulnerable every time I'm on a set. And then I use it in my favor because it helps me probably empathize with my character and probably dive deeper so yeah I think uh, every time I'm on set because I am my biggest critique I put a lot of pressure on myself am, am I getting it right am I doing it fine am I is it and and then right after a shot you're looking at your director with those vulnerable eyes tha, nahi tha, kya, whatever so I think because as actors we seek validation all the all time, the time. Yeah. so vulnerability uh, comes along with it so I think on set Correct. before the release um, every time there has to be a decision taken, yeah. Fantastic. I'm going to end by asking each of you pretty quickly what your favorite industry story is. You don't have to give me names, okay? <laughs> because you're not going to and that's completely fine. But uh, leave us with a story that is absolutely your favorite. And uh, I think I have many stories. Uh, but in the meantime, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, if you can think of a story, which is your favorite? Listen, for me, <laughs> you know it. For me, it has to be the day when um, I was approached by, you know, Salman sir for Antim. That, I mean, that's one of the biggest <coughs> milestones of my life. And that's something which is etched on me forever. And yeah, I remember that phase. I remember your interviews. I remember you being so positive. You were so excited and uh, you like literally owned that film more than Salman Khan did. So, oh, no, no, well no, done. That's a no, in a good compliment. way. Thank you. Like, he made Thank you. I remember Thank that you. so well. So, yeah. Yeah, I yeah remember that, that face. That's something which I don't yeah. think I'll be, I'll ever be able to forget. No, that was amazing. amazing. Yeah. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. Shriya, that, that Rajni's story was gold. <laughs> now, how will you top that? <laughs> Yeah. Um, no pressure. Just and Imran has so yeah. many. <laughs> Imran has so many. Like, so he has a lot of guys. I'm thinking, the best. I'm thinking. The best. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Uh, <coughs> me, girls, uh, is this, I, I get to know everything, but I, I either genuinely forget or genuinely I'm told not to say. So then it's like, it's like really hard don't when people are talking the and they're talking yeah, about it. it. And I know I it just to it. pretend that I don't know. And I'm like, oh, really? This happened? But That's don't make the a worst name, part. Just say yeah, yeah, we just want the story. I, I think my with funny story is my story. with whom? <laughs> not your funny story, the story that she's asking. No, no, I am not having an affair. Gossip nahi chahiye. Getting you to talk. Okay, um, uh, my first director came up to me after the film was over and he said that, listen, you're, uh, you, you acted pretty okay in the film but you're super dumb and you will not be able to manage in this industry. You're very innocent and this is not going to work for you. You should go back to college. This is not your thing. Um, and after like some 18 or 20 years, he casted me again in his film, Manam. But uh, I think that kind of left me with this whole feeling very vulnerable every time I do a film or a role oh. and I'm like, can I do it, can I do it? But uh, having said that, and I know I'm going to 
this is very boring i haven't really met one single person who was mean to me or bad to me or that's great i felt like oh my god now i don't that's know great. how to save my soul or mm. you know but this someone's is hitting on me very badly I, I, in fact i feel like maybe they should why weren't they hitting on me like what did i not do right <laughs> <laughs> was i like like friend zoning people <laughs> how is it Hey. Too many are hating on you. Like I've I've made friends with people. I'm like, well, why didn't you hit on me? Was oh. I that boring? But no, I mean, yeah, it's always been great. And no, you're that um, professional. That's what I would say. Professional? Yeah, yeah maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Don't mess with me. Everyone, give us the tell. Give us the story. 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 <laughs> Is this make a very awkward moment here? So I, we were shooting this, this bit with Imran, Mauni, me, and uh, Rajiv, and Rajiv has to come and dance and do his bit, and then I have to go join him. This is the whole part. But then um, I just didn't want to like learn the steps or even go there because Mauni and Rajiv were doing this whole gossip session. I just wanted to be there, <laughs> and I'm pretending that I'm not there, like I'm doing my hair or doing whatever, and I'm like listening to them. <laughs> What's going on? Kya baat hai? Thank you. But so I'll tell you what my story. That's the Imran's story. Yeah. My favorite stories have been of Kishore Kumar. I mean, you're talking about stories. So all the stories that you hear from people who, up to very few people who have worked with him, who have worked with him. But when you hear stories about Mr. Kishore Kumar, you actually wonder why no man can be so crazy. He was so talented, Bilkul. yet he would just leave the set and then he would not turn up on shoot and get, yeah. give me the checks and all of that stuff. And I'll just give you one story which I'd heard from Mr. Tinu Anand. I was working with him, and that's one of my most favorite stories because this is about Mr. Bachchan working in a film called Kalia. And the story I just heard about it recently again is when he refused to say some lines on the set, and he said uh, the um, Tinu Tinu ji said that my father, the writer, they were saying that Amitabh Bachchan will not say that. And that's when I actually learned that uh, I figured that Mr. Bachchan, who is such a great speaker, his dialogue delivery and all of that was always so pitch perfect. When he says that I will not speak this line, means Back in the day, you know, don't know about that era, but वो कालिया के अंदर उनका एक डायलॉग था कि क्या नज़ा के तकलीफों में मज़ा, जब मौत ना आए जवानी में क्या लुफ्त चनाज़ा उठने का जब हर काम में मातम ना हो, and he said that he refused and he said कि मैं ये लाइन नहीं बोलूँगा ये मेरा कैरेक्टर ऐसे घरों के लाइन थोड़ा बोल देगा बीच में वो बात चल रही है और शायद वो and Mr. Tino Anand said that Ki, you just say it, Amit ji. Amit, you just say it. Agar taliyan nahi padhi to, I will accept that you were right. And apparently, jab wo film release hui thi, tab us dialogue ke upar jo taliyan baji thi. Mm -hmm. So you realize that actors back in the day also were like not ki daan de do mar ko mai bol dunga. So, yeah. yeah, so one of those. Thank you, thank you. And of course, my favorite story is Kishorda ke bangle ke bahar, beware of dog ho. No, no, but it was beware of Kishor. Our school was adjoining his, uh, his bungalow. Hmm. So the, he used to be sitting on the parapet wall when we used to play volleyball. He used to, once the ball had gone into his bungalow, he just refused to give us. He was laughing and he was dancing with the ball. No. He, yeah, yeah. He was, this is my memory of him because our school was adjoining his, his bungalow. That's so beautiful. And I'll be a little self-indulgent <laughs> here with my story. My, uh, my first day in the industry was probably the worst day for me. Mm -hmm. I had bombed so miserably. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, so miserably <laughs> that they had to actually pack up. I had mm. given, uh, I generally am an artist who likes to give probably two or three retakes and mm. get it mm. right. Mm. That day I gave probably 40, 45 retakes. I couldn't do that scene properly. And mm. you know, sometimes it dawns on you when your family comes and watches you. Yeah. It kind of, mm. and I was like all of 20. And I, you know, I, I had never, I had not prepped to be an actor. I was just, you know, it was a summer job. I took this, I was a supporting actor in my first yeah. film. Yeah. And there was this one line. I still remember it. There was Aftab Shirdasani in the film. He was the hero. Yeah. And uh, there's a scene where there's, there's a drug deal taking place and mm -hmm. his headlights on. Yeah. And I come and stand there and I tell him that, uh, hey, batti bandgar, battery down ho jayegi, to koi dhakka maanne wala aega nahi. Mm -hmm. That one line took me 40 retakes because I couldn't get it right. Oh, no. I had not prepped to be an actor. And this, I was an assistant. But then standing on this side of the camera and seeing 100 people see me and look at me, feeling judged, I was like, and that night I went back after pack up. I have rehearsed the hell out of that one line and that entire <laughs> scene because I'm like, if I blow this the second day, my director was very sweet. He came to me and said that he put his hand on my shoulder and said that, you know, this is ground zero for you. Tomorrow, the only way is up. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. 
नेक्स्ट डे थैंकफुली आई गॉट बत्ती बंद कर या बैटरी डाउन हो जाएगी तो कोई धक्का मारने वाला आएगा नहीं नहीं आएगा यू नो गाइस आई ट्रूली लुक फॉरवर्ड टू दिस चैट फॉर दिस प्रिसाइज रीजन आई न्यू दैट आई एम गोइंग टू बी स्पीकिंग टू सम अमेजिंग पीपल एंड मोर देन एनीथिंग एल्स यू हैव लेफ्ट अस रिचर विद योर स्टोरीज टुडे सो थैंक यू सो मच एंड लेट मी टेल माय ऑडियंस शो टाइम इज सो बिंज वर्थी यू आर जस्ट गोना हैव अ ब्लास्ट वाचिंग इट सो डोंट फॉरगेट इट इज कमिंग इन मार्च ओनली ऑन डिज्नी प्लस हॉटस्टार दिस इज मी रोहिणी साइनिंग आउट from fever fm happening here